a traditional welcome for the Holy Father. Pope Francis spent his first morning in Papua New Guinea addressing political leaders and his clergy. Touring four nations in the Asia-Pacific, the 12-day trip is his longest one yet as head of the Catholic Church. For these performers who welcomed him today, the reward was particularly sweet. The best bit about it was the fact that I got candy from the Pope. That was the best part. It was fun and a little bit nervous. PNG is the largest Pacific country and home to around 2.5 million Catholics. But the visit has also attracted government heads from Tonga, Vanuatu and Nauru. Just to be here to actually thank him in person on behalf of not just the government of Tonga but the people of Tonga for his leadership, especially on climate change. Others are calling for his focus elsewhere. A group supporting survivors of sexual abuse by priests in the Pacific published an open letter to the pontiff today. Your church's leaders moved child sexual predators from within your church into poor and vulnerable countries in Oceania, where they continued to abuse helpless and innocent children. The group says the Pope's public apologies don't add up to justice. So we've asked the Holy Father to uh, walk the talk and provide redress. The Pope will face increasing pressure to address the issue of institutional abuse when he visits Timor-Leste next week, after the Vatican sanctioned Timorese Bishop Carlos Bello following allegations he sexually abused boys. Tomorrow, Pope Francis will give a large public mass in Port Moresby before he heads to the remote town of Vanamo.